the driver of that snowmobile who lost his wife is speaking out this evening. He tells us they usually wear helmets, but this quick moment of irresponsibility cost him his wife. Our courting bureau chief, Nikita Ramos, joins us now live in our studio here in Elmira with more on this story, funeral arrangements, and snowmobile safety. Good evening, Nikita. Yes, good evening, everyone. One member of a local snowmobile club is speaking out on ways to prevent common injuries and accidents. And, Zach, it only takes a split second of a poor decision like that on Monday to cost an entire life. Billy Joe G was hit and killed on a snowmobile Monday in the town of Tuscarora. She was riding with her husband Dave when their snowmobile was struck by a van. Both victims were not wearing helmets. One member of the Snowflake Snowmobile Club said you can never be too prepared when riding these vehicles. Whatever it is, I mean, you always put your helmet on before you get on a sled. That's a split second deal. I mean, anything can happen. And, and, and it can happen that fast. Billy Joe leaves behind four sons and her loving husband, who I spoke with earlier today. He has left the hospital and is recovering at home. He didn't want to go on camera, but he says, quote, we were on the sled for maybe five minutes. We always wore helmets. Just a decision that was wrong on our part. Five minutes of not being responsible cost me my wife. For those looking to enjoy good fun with snowmobiles, remember to double check everything from safety equipment to looking both ways. You got to watch people, you know, intersections and stuff like that. Somebody may not see a sign that needs to be seen. Billy Joe will be honored at Carpenter's Funeral Home in Corning on Friday, January 25th from 1 to 4 p.m. A memorial service and life celebration will follow at the Hornby Fire Department. This story goes to show the delicacy of life and the importance of safety on the road. Reporting live in the studio, Nikita Ramos, 18 News.